You're, go you're going to learn how to install Optifine 1.21.4 for Minecraft. As you can see, you're also going to learn how to add shaders and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. Go ahead and increase those FPS and improve your performance in Minecraft 1.21.4 with Optifine. The first step to download Optifine is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. But if you don't want to read through the guide, just scroll down to step one and click download Optifine here. And as of right now, we only have preview versions. Don't worry, those still work. But however, if when you come over here, you already see the full release and it says download right here you can go ahead and download it through there if you click download that is going to take you through a short ad if you click mirror that is going to take you straight to the download but over here as of right now we only have the preview version so we're gonna click on the plus sign in here download the most recent release as of right now obviously it's going to be the pre-5 and let's go ahead and click on mirror that is going to redirect over here where we're going to click download and the download will begin right away and while optifine downloads if you need a minecraft server apex hosting is the best service for you with the first link in the description you get 25 off your first server either a java or a bedrock server obviously the servers support over 200 mod packs so if you want to play with mod packs and invite your friends and all of that you can do so using apex hosting they also have locations all around the world so there's no excuse for your friends to say they were lagging or anything like that because they will always have a good connection something i personally love about apex hosting is that you could actually create and then access the server console through your phone meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings kick people out whatever you want to do it is your server after all and again apex hosting was kind enough to give us 25 off if you use that first link in the description and now let's keep going with the tutorial we can see that Optifine already downloaded and let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop and we're also going to close out from this ad that came up in here now we have Optifine right now and we are pretty much ready to install Optifine and if you're only looking to install Optifine and not adding shaders then all you have to do is double click on the installer and install Optifine but in this video we also want to add shaders so we could go ahead and test out Optifine with shaders and see if the shaders are working I'm going to download the same shaders you saw in the intro of this video which are complementary unbound feel free to download whatever shaders you want but if you want to follow along and download the same shaders as me which I totally recommend because these are great shaders Click on the third link in the description, which is how written guide on how to install complementary inbound. You don't have to read through the whole thing though, just scroll down to download, click on download, and then over here, just select the proper version that you're looking for. In this case, it's 1.21.4. Once you do, click on these three dots, and then click download file. And within five seconds, the file for the shaders are going to download. This is going to be a zip file, and you don't have to unzip it. Sometimes people ask that they get a zip file. It is completely fine to get a zip file as your shader file. Let's go ahead and put the shaders on the desktop, and now we are ready to start. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher 100% closed. As you can see, I already have mine closed. And now all we have to do is double click on Optifine, the installer, and you'll get the installer right here where you're going to click install once again, once you make sure it's 1.21.4, click install. Now, if you get this error while you're trying to install Optifine, that is because you haven't opened Minecraft 1.21.4 at least once on your computer. So to get rid of this error, just open the game once and then close it. So like I said, once you open the game, just quit game. And now you could hit install over here. And as you can see, Optifine is going to start installing right away. Now we have Optifine installed by the way if you had any issues opening optifine that might be because you don't have java installed on your computer you will need java 21 to install optifine this is not optional this is a requirement some of you might have outdated javas like java 17 java 7 java 8 but now you need java 21 after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 to install any mods or stuff like that so i'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to install java 21 it's fairly simple you just download it hit install and then next a couple of times and you will have java 21 installed on your computer which you will need i'm also going to leave you a guide to run a jar fix just in case you need to run a jar fix after installing java 21 to link all those jar files with your new installation of java anyways once we install optifine we could even delete it from our desktop as we don't need it anymore now let's go ahead and open our minecraft launcher and if we install optifine properly we should see it selected here automatically which it is on my case right now you can see optifine 1.21.4 is right here and if we head over into installations and we select modded without modded you actually won't see this so select modded you actually will see optifine over here as well if you don't see optifine don't worry just click on new installation and then on the version just search for optifine and then select optifine 1.21.4 name this whatever you want and then hit install here on the bottom right and that would add an instance of optifine for you over here anyways once you find optifine here let's go ahead and hit play you'll get this prompt in here if you don't know what this is just click read more about player safety features and if you agree with that click understand the risk and then hit play again and let's go ahead and wait for optifine to open now once the game opens we know that we're in optifine because it says modded down here but we're still gonna go ahead and add those shaders i'm gonna teach you how to do so in a second go ahead and launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world it doesn't matter it's completely up to you and if you need a multiplayer world again first link in the description 25% off with apex hosting once you're over here in a world we could go ahead and test optifine by pressing c on our keyboard and as you can see we have that old school optifine zoom in but that is not just it we also have other features like adding shaders and obviously improved performance let's go ahead and add the shaders to do so press escape 
head over to options and click on video settings. Now in video settings, you'll see that this whole menu has changed and you also have this shaders option down here on the bottom left. Click on that shaders option and then click on shaders folder. That is going to open a folder that most likely will be empty for you guys. And I'm actually going to delete my shaders from there because this is probably what your shader folder looks like. Now go ahead and drag and drop that complementary inbound shaders that we downloaded earlier or any other shaders that you want to use into this folder. It should be a zip file again. And once the zip files are here, close this folder, head back into the game and you should see your shaders appear here within the shaders menu. Now go ahead and click on it and give it a couple seconds depending on your computer. This might take longer or this might take less time than me. There we go. Let's click on done, done, done back to the game. And there we go. We have Optifine working with some beautiful, beautiful shaders in Minecraft. That is pretty much how to install Optifine 1.21.4. If you want to know how to disable the shaders, you just go back into that menu and then you disable them. It's pretty easy. That is how to install Optifine 1.21.4. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.